Hello everybody, you are listening to Alfred's American News Updates. Alfred's American News Updates is brought to you by Alfred and Friends. Alfred and Friends is a global conglomerate that owns and invests in a large variety of companies all around the world. To find out how you can invest in Alfred and Friends, go to www.alfredandfriends.com The updates I'd like to give you today is on President Trump's presidential proclamation on national, national slavery and human trafficking. It's something that wasn't given any attention on the mainstream media because the mainstream media is controlled and they want to make President Trump look bad. So the good things that he does are never spoken of in the mainstream media. I'd like to read to you the Presidential Proclamation on National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month for 2019. It was actually issued, however, on December 31st, 2018. I begin. And this is written by Donald Trump and the White House. President Donald Trump and the White House. I begin. Human trafficking is a modern form of slavery. It is not enough merely to denounce these horrific assaults on human dignity. We must actively work to prevent and end this barbaric exploitation of innocent victims. During National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month, we pledge to continue the battle to abolish modern slavery and restore the lives of those affected by human trafficking. Human trafficking harms adults and children of all ages and demographics. True force fraud and coercion, traffickers push their victims into demeaning forms of abuse, including domestic servitude and commercial sexual exploitation. These crimes often remain hidden because victims are reluctant to seek help for a variety of reasons, including language barriers, fear of traffickers, and law enforcement and lack of trust. Human trafficking destroys precious lives and threatens our nation's security, public health and the rule of law. It's a scourge on the global community. We are morally obligated to confront and defeat the abhorrent practice of human trafficking and I am keeping my pledge to take aggressive action. In February of 2017, I signed an executive order to dismantle transnational criminal organizations that traffic and exploit people. I have made it a top priority to fully secure our nation's southwest border, including through the continued construction of a physical wall so that we can stop human trafficking and stem the flow of deadly drugs and criminals into our country. And my administration is negotiating tough forced labor provisions in our new trade agreements, including in the United States-Mexico-Canada agreements, or USMCA. In April of 2018, I was proud to sign into law They allow states and victims to fight online sex trafficking acts of 2017. Landmark legislation to fight online sex trafficking. This legislation makes it easier to take legal action against individuals who use websites to facilitate sex trafficking, helping victims seek justice against the websites that profit from their exploitation. It also clarifies that those who benefit from knowingly assisting, supporting, or facilitating an act of sex trafficking are in violation of federal law. 
at my direction, federal departments and agencies are ensuring full enforcement of our laws so that those who seek to exploit our people and break our laws receive the full measure of justice they deserve. In 2017 alone, the Department of Justice secured convictions against more than 500 defendants in human trafficking cases and the Federal Bureau of Investigation dismantled more than 42 criminal enterprises engaged in child sex trafficking. The Department of Homeland Security initiated more than 800 human trafficking cases, resulting in at least 1,500 arrests and 530 convictions. The Department of Health and Human Services modernized the National Human Trafficking Hotline. The Department of Transportation recently established an advisory community on human trafficking to assist states and local transportation stakeholders in developing best practices for combating human trafficking. And my interagency tax force to monitor and combat trafficking in persons is working tirelessly to prosecute traffickers and protect human trafficking victims. The tax force has also enhanced collaboration with other nations, businesses and survivors of human trafficking. Under my administration, the federal government will continue to play a leading role in the fight against human trafficking. But all Americans can help in these efforts by recognizing key indicators that can potentially save a life. Public awareness and education are critical, especially for those most likely to encounter perpetrators of enslavement and their victims, such as healthcare professionals, law enforcement officers, social services providers, and educators. Through the Department of Homeland Security's Blue Campaign, citizens can learn to identify victims, report suspected instances of trafficking, and bring those who exploit others to justice. As a nation, we cherish and uphold the notion that all people are created with inherent dignity and entitled to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Human trafficking and enslavement robs victims of these God-given endowments. Modern slavery in all its manifestations is a blight on humanity and an affront to our fundamental values. We will not rest until we eradicate this evil. Now, therefore, I, Donald J. Trump, President of the United States of America, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution and the laws of the United States, do hereby proclaim January 2019 as National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month, culminating in the annual observation of National Freedom Day. On February 1st, 2019, I call upon industry associations, law enforcement, private businesses, faith-based and other organizations of civil society, schools, families, and all Americans to recognize our vital roles in ending all forms of modern slavery and to observe this month with appropriate programs and activities aimed at ending and preventing all forms of human tra trafficking. In weakness thereof, I have hereunto set my hand this 31st day of December in the year of our Lord 2018 and of the independence of the United States of America, the 234th. Donald J. Trump. So that is the full reading of the Presidential Proclamation on National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month 2019. So now, based on this, every January is National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month. 
you get that from now on that means that every January is National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month. That is actually a wonderful thing and a big step and a great um, move by President Trump. And this is something that should be commended and talked about in the media. You know, to God be the glory for all that President Trump is doing and expertly for this, this is actually going to seriously curb human trafficking and sex trafficking and especially child sex trafficking, which sadly still goes on. You know, but this moves that President Trump is making will seriously curb it and narrow it down and eventually eliminate it in America as long as everyone gets on board you know and President Trump is not further hindered especially in this matter as he is often hindered in almost every other matter that he involves himself in ever since he became the president. So that is the update for today. Once again, thank you and God bless you. Remember to go to alfredandfriends.com to invest in Alfred and Friends. Thank you and God bless you. Hello everybody. I would like to make a correction to something I said earlier. Earlier when I said that every January is going to be the National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month. But after perusing things more, I've seen that it's actually just January 2019. I do not know if it's going to be an annual thing. In other words, if it's going to be every year. It is just, what is specified is just this year, January 2019, that is National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month. Hopefully it will become an annual thing, but we'll have to wait and see. Sorry about that. Once again, thank you. God bless you. And remember to go to alfredandfriends.com to invest in Alfred and Friends. Thank you and God bless you.